Hello everyone, welcome to Kaidro Tutorials. Hi, I am Kaidro. In this tutorial series, we are going to create a simple inventory system that will be available on web and mobile using native technologies. This tutorial series will use Vue.js, Node.js, Microsoft SQL, Swift, Swift UI to build the iOS interface and Kotlin and XML to create the Android interface. Please join me on this journey. We are starting by using the prototyping tool Sketch. Sketch has a free version, but the well, it doesn't technically have a free version. It's a trial version that that is available for 30 days, following which you have to pay a one-time fee of $99. The alternative is Adobe XD, which is free, it has a free tier as well as a paid tier. The free tier is doesn't have a time limit, but has a lim limited capability and the same goes for Framer. Let's get started. We're going to start by creating a web uh, mockup of the inventory system. We'll not be creating a mock-up of the of the the mobile version because it's just a scaled-down version of the same mock-ups. This this section of the tutorial with will be broken up into two videos so that the the lessons can be um, more bite-sized. So we are starting by creating the essential components that's necessary for for developing the the backbone of the web interface so we're creating the navbar the top navbar where we're going to have um, the login information for the person who is currently logged into the inventory system So we've added the avatar and now we're adding the name followed by a logout button. So we're shaping the, the button and centering it so that it's the alignment is set properly. Next, we are going to add the, the label for the, the application, just the title, um, to fill the space so it will be simple inventory system. Next, we are going to develop, create a, using a rectangle shape, create a navigation bar where a user will be able to navigate throughout the application to find various aspects such as where items are, brand, category, and location. Traditionally, an inventory system will have many more components to it including customers, sales orders, etc. However, we are just creating the bare bone of an inventory system just to, to portray and showcase the most critical aspects of an inventory system because after after we have created the mock-up we're going to create the database followed by the apk the api which will be using node.js and sqlize to connect the node.js AP, api to microsoft sql following that we're going to create a this interface that we are creating at, um, the mock-up for at the moment we are going to um, create a web interface using Vue.js to create the same interface following that we're going to create we're going to extend the inventory system by connecting it to a Swift UI interface iOS interface to 
to showcase the concept of cross-platform communication, having a central database and communicating cross-platform. Once the Swift UI component um, application has been created, then we're going to the, la the final component of this tutorial series will be creating the equivalent um, design and application in Android using Kotlin. Okay, so we have duplicated the base of the screen um, so that whenever we're creating other screens, we don't have to repeat the same steps. Now we are moving towards creating a list. Um, so this list is going to be where the items show up. So what I'm creating now is the pagination buttons. So the back, forward and the list of pages. So we're aligning the numbers to ensure that it's centered. So what we do is select the two, select the number and the box, the rectangle, then in the top left hand corner, there is actually buttons to align, align it, the objects in relation to each other. So now we're creating a header for the list. So those contain the labels so we know what each row represents. So we have the image, the item, the brand, barcode, quantity and status. So those are the items that we'll be tracking. We'll also be tracking the price as well. So what we're going to do now, so I've created a cell, a row. So now we are going to place a image. So you have the image of the item. As now following that, we'll have to add the name of that item and what brand that item belongs to as well as the barcode associated with the item to uniquely identify the item as well as the quantity and the status. The status will tell you if the, if the item is in stock or out of stock. So once we have created the first row, what we'll do, we will duplicate the first row a couple times to save time. So what we'll do is highlight all the components inside of that row. Then we on, well, since this is Mac, we hit control, um, command C, command V. Then we drag the component below. And you may notice that as I am dragging the items, there's some smart guides that um, Sketch is giving me to ensure that each row is equally spaced. So I'm now changing the images to give some diversity in terms of the type of items um, in the list for this uh, mock-up. Following this, the, the second part of this series, of this um, series, in terms of creating the mock-up, we will look at um, creating the other screens such as brand, category, and location. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified on the next video in our series. Thank you.